guys! So today I'm doing the Pretty in Pink tag. I know I'm doing a lot of tag videos, but just you know what I do. The Pretty in Pink tag is pretty much anything pink that you love. Anyways, so, um, first I'll do some of the stuff that I'm wearing that I'm in love with. Alright, so first is this sweater. It's from Costco. It's just like an Athletica swimmer, sweater. And it's really pink. It's just cute. And it's not a hood, it's just like one of those. And yeah. Um, and then I also have a pink garage um, racer back tank. You know the one with like the oh, back. It's pink. I love it right now. And then I have some pink socks. I love these pink socks because they are so fuzzy. I love these pink socks. They are the fuzziest socks on the planet, and they're so comfortable. And I had to work this weekend, and it was really like snowy out, and my job is outside, right? Um, these socks were amazing. They kept my feet warm for almost the whole day. It was just closer to the end of the day that my feet started to get really cold and soaked. But these socks are amazing. But anyways, so now I'm going to do my favorite pink nail polishes. And my nail stuff in general. So first is this nail art pen. And I'm thinking about getting some more. And then I'll just kind of do like a nail art pen review. That's what it's like. Alright. Yeah, and it's just like, it just looks like a normal pen. Let's see what do I like. Ooh. This is my China Glaze, something sweet. It's just a really light pink, and it's really, really pretty. And I have it on my toenails right now, but I'm going to spare you the look of my toes, because my toes look horrible. Usually, I am obsessed with keeping my feet neat and tidy and perfect, but it's the winter, so nobody's going to see my feet, so I don't really care. Woo! Okay, anyways, right, so, yeah. This is why I love China Glaze, because they're just like, they have really thin brushes, and they're really easy to use. And it doesn't really smell all that bad. Um, and then I also like this OPI, I think, in pink. It's another really light pink that I would probably wear. Oh, huh, I just dropped a bunch of them. Okay. That I would probably wear for Easter. That was the season. That was the thing I was looking for. Okay. Um, um, oh, and then this now. It's pink, if you can't tell. I just got a bunch of peace signs on it, so it's super cool. And it looks miracles. And it was like two bucks at a store. It was a clothing store actually, so I was pretty impressed. Hello. Okay. Now, this is what I use to keep my feet all perfect. Ignore that grossness on the bottom. I'm not even really sure what that is. Oh, it's just where the file part has come off. See, it's like hard to pull it down and it goes by really fast. Yeah, that's all it is. Right, and then it's just like, just like that. It's like a razor-y thing. And you just kind of like rub it on your dry feet. And I like this better than my pumice stone. Because with a pumice stone, um, your feet have to be wet to use. And then this, your feet can be dry. Yeah, I, I'm just in love with this. Okay. Um, yeah, I'll just do my nail polish remover. I have tried a lot of different nail polish remover. But this one's my favorite. And it's just a coincidence that it happens to be pink. Um, yeah, it's amazing. This stuff actually works really good. So I kind of fell aside from it. Yeah, so it's just pink. And I love this stuff. It works with nails. And it's just Sally Hansen polish remover. And it also, like, it strengthens your nails. Even though mine has to really need that, it's just really good. Alright, and then I'm going to just do, like, the wall paint colors. Ignore the other three. They're, like, yellow, purple, and white. Um, that's just because these are the five colors I'm going to want to paint my walls. Not, like, each wall or different color because I don't have five walls. No, it's, like, I don't remember exactly what it is. But anyways, so... It's just these last two. They're kawaii and pinkalicious. If I had to choose out of all these five, if I had to choose two, I'd probably choose these two. And do this one as my main color, and then this one is like my accent. Because they're just that amazing. Um, I like the white too. But anyway, so I'm just focusing on the pinks here today. Woo, this way. Alright, yeah, so it's just like kawaii and then pinkalicious. I love these two colors. They're amazing together too. It's like a light pink and a nice hot pink. It's amazing. I wanted to paint my room like black and hot pink, but I was not allowed. Whatever. Okay. And then I love this frilly lily body scrub. See, I like body scrub. I'm not really a big fan of body wash or so. I like body scrub. And this has like little crystal pieces and it's like, it like gets the top layer of your skin, like all the dead skin cells, and it just like gets rid of them. And it is amazing. Frillylily.ca. Okay. Um. Yeah, this is just like Frilly Lily Shot of Sugar, Sugar, Sugar. Mm, favorite lip products, I guess. Ooh, 
water stream over the pen. It's just a gel pen and it's pink. It's amazing and pink. And I just use it to like write on my calendar. I'm almost out too. So I need to go out and get some more. Anyways. So first is this Snow Fairy from Lush. Let's see, that's just the cap. Um, I've kind of made a major dent in this. You can't tell. Not really actually. I kind of haven't been using it. But it's just like this really pretty pink color. Let's see if I can get it. It smells so good. It smells like cotton candy. See, it's just like pink. And it's like a lip balm. And it's not super dark. So it works on almost all skin tones, and I love it. And it's also, it's from Lush. See, Lush. It's amazing, and I love it. It smells so good. Okay, and then my next one is my MAC Lip Gloss in Sassy Lassie. This is a bit dark. If you can hear that, just ignore that. My dad talked about that. Okay, see, this is how dark it is. the difference yeah it's really light but I love it and it's MAC and it's a lip gloss my friend gave that to me because I was like in love with it and it doesn't look good on her because it doesn't fit with her skin tone but anyways and then my next favorite one is just a flavored lip gloss I have no idea where I got this from it came in kind of like a set of like six and I don't know where the other five went so one of my friends took them from me so anyways yeah it just looks like that and it's pink but it's not a super light pink like the MAC but it's not like a super not so light pink like this it looks really like it would be really dark, but it's really not. No, it's really gross. I just put on like three different lip glosses. But it's like, it's more of a light pink and sparkly and it tastes amazing. Love it. This tastes really good too. If you've ever tried MAC lip gloss, you can tell me if this tastes good because I've never tried it. So, yeah. I know it's weird that I know what lip gloss tastes like, but who doesn't know what lip gloss tastes like? Okay, so now I'm just going to do eyeshadow slash blush. This is what I used to use for my blush. It's just like all these different pinks and I just kind of blend them all together. Oh look, you can see all my stamps. It's amazing, right? So, um, yeah. So it just kind of has all those different colors and I just kind of blend them all together and all my cheeks. But then I stopped doing that and I don't remember why. I think I'm just going to use this for dance now. I think that was my idea. Alright, ignore the two purples right there. Okay, just ignore like those. Focus on these two pinks. Yeah, those are my two favorite eyeshadow pink eyeshadows. Those are the only real pink. Those are really the only colored eyeshadows I have, just pink and purple. Which is really sad, I know, but whatever. Okay. If this looks orange to you, it's actually pink. And it's CoverGirl Lash Blast Lux. Lux? Yeah, Lux. And... Okay. Oh, look at that really pretty brush. Look at it. It's so cute. I love it. Yeah. Um, and it goes on really smooth. I use this more so for dance because it like, it lengthens, volumizes, and separates your lashes. I think that's what volumizing is. All at the same time. It just works miracles. You'll probably not really see this in video unless I do a dance makeup tutorial. Like, I wouldn't do it for like a formal or prom or homecoming or anything. I do it more for like, if you're going up on stage. It's more of a stage makeup tutorial because I'm up on stage a lot. Okay, and then just a couple more things really quickly here. Um, first of all, my favorite iPod case is this. It looks purple. It's kind of like a purpley pink or a pinky purple. It's more so purple than it is pink, but it's still not pink in it. And it's just like, it's one of those rubber cases, so you can just kind of twist it around. Woo! Um, yeah. And it's for the iPod generation, fourth generation or something like that. I think I have it. It's on the camera. See? My iPod. It's on the camera. Yeah. And then my other one is my phone case. This is my phone, which is an ink chat. I've kind of used the space bar a lot, so you can kind of see it starting to kick off. Let's see if I click it. Oh, look at that, I got a text. Huh, that's special. Anyways, yeah. So this is pink. It looks red because the back of my phone is red. See? The back of my phone is red. But no, it's pink. And it's, again, I'm just like a rubber case. When I first got it, I thought that it was going to be like one of those hard cases, and I really did not want that. Then it turned out to be like, a rubber case and I was in love. <laughs> yeah, so thanks for watching my pretty and pink tag. Uh and I will try and fix that beginning. Bye! Razor? Racer? Is it racer or razor? Yes, I washed those, so don't worry. Okay. And then I have this darker pink top and I'm not really sure what it there we go. Okay, I'm sorry, I just have to kind of lean over here. So wash that. Okay. Oh,
smells like nail polish pen. And you just kind of shake it and then you press it down onto your nail and you draw. And then, here, I'll do it. Oh! Never mind, you don't press it down onto your nail. Huh. I lied, but see, it comes out red right there. I lied, you don't press it down onto your nail. You press it down onto a hard surface and then draw on your nail. I feel very, very smart. Ugh. Oh well. Okay, I'll clean that up after. Anyways, um. I'm sorry, my lips feel very dry today. Sadly, this isn't pink, otherwise, I'd show you it and tell you how amazing it is, but it's orange. 